Hey guys, welcome back to Eric's Hobby Workshop. In this video, I'm gonna take some ramen and some super glue and I'm gonna make a set of concrete ruins. The other day, a series of viral videos caught my eye where people were using ramen noodles and super glue to repair everything from holes in drywall to kitchen sinks. And it seemed like a really interesting technique. So in this video, we're gonna give it a go. Let's jump right into it. So obviously the first thing I'm gonna need is a bunch of packages of instant ramen noodles. These are available pretty much everywhere where they sell food, corner stores, Walmart, and they're dirt cheap. The ones here are five for $2, but you can get them even cheaper than that. As you can see, I chose one of each flavor just to have all my bases covered because I couldn't resist all these beautiful colors. Next, I'm gonna take some of these packages and just start tapping with them with a hammer to break up the brick-like structure inside of them. Once I've got them finely busted out, I put them into a large Ziploc bag so I could get them a little bit smaller without rupturing the bag because the Ziploc bag is a little bit more durable than these cheap ramen bags. I tried my hand at hitting the bag with the hammer to break up the ramen even further, and this was moderately successful, but these little pieces are actually surprisingly hard and they move around in the bag and the hammer is just not the best way to do it. So I tried a few other methods. First I put on my boots and I uh, gave the noodles a little bit of a stomping, which worked a little bit I suppose, but didn't exactly get me as fine of a result as I desired. And then I tried a rolling pin type effect, which again got me a little bit finer, but it wasn't perfect. Next I taped some parchment paper down to my desk. Parchment paper is treated with a silicon process that makes it non-stick. I used some thin super glue. This stuff I bought online, two ounces for about eight bucks, which is pretty cheap, a lot cheaper than the stuff you get at the hardware store. I'll put a link in the description for something similar. I flattened out the ramen, and then I just saturate it with super glue. This is pretty much a material test to see what I end up with. And once it's dry, as you can see, despite the fact it's non-stick, it's still stuck a little bit. But when this is lifted up, you get this nice hard wafer. It's actually surprisingly hard. The corner came off there, but the center of it is very, very hard and durable. This gives me an idea. So I take a piece of black foam core and I cut out a square out of the center, five inches by five inches. Then using some parchment paper, I clad the edges in parchment as well to make them non-stick. Repeating the process for all four edges. I then tape that mold down on top of another piece of parchment paper. And this time using my coffee grinder to bust up the ramen even finer, I've spread them onto the inside. Saturating that with super glue, I'm able to make a large square sheet of this sort of ramen concrete. Now here I use a little bit of sandpaper to smooth it down a little bit more and then add a little bit more glue on top. After a few hours, that's dry. And you can see I've got this wafer. It's rock hard. So I knew pretty much right away that with this material, I wasn't gonna be able to do anything extremely detailed not for the least part because of the difficulty in working with the parchment paper. So it seemed to me like the, the best thing to do would be to do a ruined concrete type structure. So with that in mind, I apply a considerable amount of force and snap my sheet in roughly half, not exactly half, but close enough. And that's kind of the basis of my structure for my ruins. So to glue this together, I used some more super glue. This is a different kind though. This is the type that's gel, which has a little bit more stickiness right off the bat and doesn't run everywhere. And then I sort of add some ramen powder into the gap to sort of fill and smooth the gap, which actually worked pretty well. I then marked the inside for a platform and used that other piece of rougher ramen that I used as a test. If you enjoy this sort of content, consider supporting me on Patreon. It's a great help to the channel, and if you sign up over there, you can also see yourself in the credit roll at the end, which is where I usually show a bunch of lovely glamour shots of the project I'm working on. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link down in the description. Let's get back to it. So I tried to make a more advanced shape. 
using this piece of foam core, which I clad in parchment paper the same way as before, and then taped down to a piece of parchment paper attached to my desk, using the same ground up ramen from the thing and some bolts to hold the mold down. I added my liquid super glue, but this time I don't think I added enough. Even though I added a ton, it wasn't enough to give it the same strength and rigidity that I had before. And when I started lifting it up from the mold, it just started crumbling everywhere, which is a shame. But I'm going to use these pieces for rubble for my other piece and it'll work out just fine. So I crumble it around in big chunks and with some of the finer pieces around the base of the other piece. And what this is going to do is really sell the idea that this is a crumbled structure. This is the pieces of the walls that were above and have now come to rest in piles at the base. And by saturating these piles as they stick on the base, I was actually able to make a hard structure uh, including the rubble piles, which I really like because that means I don't have to put this on a piece of chipboard or a piece of cardboard or anything else that will add extra clearance, which means it'll seamlessly blend into a lot more different locales. Let's paint this thing. So I start with some black paint, some white paint to make a gray, and I add a little bit of the flavoring powder because I haven't used it yet and this will add uh, maybe a small textural variation and um, and I just didn't see what could go wrong, so why not? And then I add a little bit of Mod Podge and put down this first thick coat of gray, which will seal everything up and give it that nice flat color. And I'm really starting to see it now as a building, which is very gratifying. I come back in with a lighter gray and a dry brush to pick out some of the details and also to add some streaks of discoloration to give it a little bit more variation. Next, using the roast beef flavor, which I think is the darkest flavor packet, I add a tiny little bit of water and I'm going to use this like a weathering powder. By just slightly moistening the corner of this roast beef flavoring, I get this nice deep red, almost rusty color that looks like the sort of streaking that you get from a piece of rebar being exposed in an old concrete structure. And so I did a couple of these nice rusty brown colors. And yes, this did smell like beef flavoring as I was doing it, but uh, the smell quickly faded. Um, but yeah, this is, this is absolutely silly. I noticed on the ramen package there's this little picture of Momofuku Ando, and I thought it would be cool to make this into a little poster to put on the side. Uh, this is the guy who invented instant ramen, I believe, according to this little blurb, and that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, seems like an appropriate tribute. So just a little bit of white glue on there, and I stick that poster right on there. This uh, sells the scale to a miniature scale, as well as sort of uh, being a little homage to the building material itself. I think it looks great. Next I come in with a little dark wash in the rubble areas just to add some contrast, and again, applying it sparingly to a select few areas, uh, little patches here and there, little areas of shading, smudging it around with my thumb, just to get some variation in the color. These final details really add that extra sense of realism and so I hit it once more with a very light grey just to bring some of that detail and the rubble back out and that's done.
I just thought of a pun that's gonna immediately make me want to punch myself in the face. Perhaps these are ruins from the Raman Empire? Okay. Um, so there you have it, guys. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and consider supporting me on Patreon. And we'll see you next time on Eric's Hobby Workshop.